Today, we are going to take the message of 5th January, 1997, being the third day of the novena in the month of January, treating the call to Gethsemane, the need for Gethsemane. Why is Gethsemane important in this time? Why has Jesus called us to come and console him, adore him, and make reparation in this time? We begin with the message from Jesus. Jesus said, we are in page four, call to Gethsemane, page four. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. My children, listen, study the agony of my sacred head. Think and meditate on the agony of this sacred head. Tomorrow, you will tell me what you feel. Console me if you love me. Make reparation if you love my Father. Obey if you love the Holy Spirit. Delay not. Start the novena so that I will answer your prayers. Truly I say to you, my joy is not complete in you. Have mercy on me, have mercy on me. My loving children, give me your heart. Have mercy on me. How can I explain my sorrowful passion to you? How can I explain my sorrows? How can I explain my agony? Think of me. See how I love you, oh my son. Have mercy on me. I call you so that you may console me and make others know my agony. Children, when will you show me love? What are you chasing? What are your worries? I am waiting for you to have mercy on me. The hour is very short to save soul. Fulfill my orders. Console me. This is the great appeal from the agonizing Jesus Christ on the 5th of January, 1997. In this appeal, Jesus re-echoed the need for us to have mercy on him. Instead of us to say, Jesus, have mercy on me, Jesus is the one telling us to do what? To have mercy on him. What is the mystery behind that? What is the theology behind that? What is the spiritual understanding behind that? Who is man that Jesus, God, will ask man to have mercy on him? By Jesus, by Jesus saying we should have mercy on him, Jesus means we should slow down with our sinful nature. Jesus wants us to stop sinning. Jesus wants us to make a 360 U-turn and face toward the road of salvation instead of the road of what? Perdition. Because on a very good understanding, when you love someone, you don't want to hurt them, isn't it? Even if you hurt them by mistake, you are quick to apologize, isn't it? Even if they hurt you or you hurt them, you are quick to what? To forgive. These are the three means of hurting and reconciliation. Because when you hurt someone you love, your heart is broken. And when someone you love hurts you, you are more pain. It is also easy to forgive someone you love because you will say, if not for love, oh, but because of love, I forgive you. And everywhere we become what? Happy, happy. Isn't it? Yes, brother. When Jesus in the family, happy, happy, happy home. home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy, happy home. When Jesus in the family. Happy, 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 happy home. home. 
When Jesus is in the family, when Jesus is in friendship, when Jesus is in relationship, when Jesus is in situationship, because we meet ourselves in different situations, it is always a place and a pain of joy. Because we come to understand that in that relationship, situationship, and the home, there is peace. And who is peace himself? Jesus, Jesus. the King of Peace. peace. <clears throat> so Jesus wants us to have mercy on him so that we can lessen his passion, lessen his sorrow, and above all, lessen his agony. Jesus wants us to repent. Jesus wants us to console him if we love him. Then, if we love the eternal father, what do we do? We make reparation. In other words, we make what? Atonement. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us. And on the whole world, the precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us and the whole world. When we love God the Father, the best way to show that you love God the eternal Father is to make atonement, make reparation. And somebody will ask, what is to make atonement? It is to offer yourself willingly for God to use you as a victim soul. In some understanding, some people will say, why is it that there are children born with disabilities or there are children born with so many sicknesses and difficulties? What is the answer behind, what is the mystery behind this innocent creature being born with so much of a problem? This is the truth according to the teachings of our Lord. The innocent are born with so much problems because they have been choosing to be what? Victim souls. victim souls. They have been choosing to be victim souls. Okay. Same way, when you pass through a lot, when you are carrying so much heavy struggles and difficulties of life, nothing is working, it is necessary to believe that Jesus has chosen you as a victim soul. Victim souls are those who share in the agony of Christ. Christ. Mm. Like St. Padre Pio Patricina, he's a victim soul because of the stigma. Now, imagine if a baby had wound in the four fingers, in the, in the two hands, and the legs, and the heart. That will give you a better understanding. But Jesus chose to give them a different cross. These are all victim so, and Jesus needs us to be victim souls in order for us to share in his agony so as to wage down, bring down the pressure, the anger of God the Father. So that by sharing in the suffering and passion of Jesus, we become what? Little Jesuses. Isn't it? Yes. We become little, little Jesus. We become little, little Emmanuel, sharing in the sufferings of Christ, sharing in the agony of Christ. If we love God, the Holy Spirit, what are we to do? We are to obey. So if you love Jesus, you are to console him. If you love God, the Father, you are to make reparation. And if you love God, the Holy Spirit, you are to what? Obey. This is the three wings in order to win the love of the Holy Trinity. Jesus encouraged us to start the novena and he will answer our prayers. Just like we are starting now. Just like we are doing now. And we are going to do for the remaining part of the year. July novena and the novena for Pentecost just after Easter, these are different stages Jesus has chosen for us to have novena. 
Jesus is saying, what are your fears? What are your worries? What is making you cold? What is making you draw back? What is making you lazy? Listen, children, the hour is very short to save soul. Arise, O Israel, and fulfill my order. This is the order, the order of the call of Gethsemane. Through the mysteries of Gethsemane, we can be able to save multitude of souls. We can be able to indeed save ourselves and save the whole world in cooperation with who? With the agonizing Jesus Christ. Precious blood of Jesus Christ. Save us and the whole world. Save us and the whole world. Jesus said, nothing can please me more than adoring my precious blood. So many people will say, brother, sister, what will I do to please Jesus more? Like I said yesterday, the greatest form of pleasing Jesus is to attend daily masses. And in a way, second to that is devotion to Jesus, adoration to Jesus in where? In the most holy Eucharist, and in the tabernacle of your soul. Ah. That means you should be able to adore Jesus 24 hours of the day. Look at what Jesus said on page five. Nothing can please me more than adoring my precious blood. Consolation prayer is not only when you take the consolation prayer. When you live a holy life, you are consolating Jesus. When you are in the state of grace, you are consoling Jesus. When you carry out the fruit of the Holy Spirit, instruct the ignorant, cancel the doubtful, you are consoling what? Jesus Christ. Jesus said, whenever I hear you preach about my, cross, my crucifixion, my suffering, oh, I am so delightful. I call my friends to say, look at my apostle, look at my disciple, look at my son, look at my daughter. For every time you engage in teaching, in preaching, in discussing the passion of Christ, Jesus look at you with a what? A smiley face. Who loved that? I do. I guess you should do as well, isn't it? Now. Yeah. One we ask, how would Jesus then look at us when we commit sin? He, he, might, cried. he might not even look at us. He might mm. give us the shoulder. And we don't want that, do we? No, no, we don't want that. So therefore, the quickest way to console Jesus is to hasten your step of repentance, is to hasten your step in the knowledge and the adoration of Jesus in the most holy Eucharist and in the tabernacle of your soul. Yes. Therefore, do you know your soul is a little heaven? Yes. When you receive Holy Communion, where does the Holy Communion go? It goes to your heart. It goes in a spiritual way to your soul. And what happened? Jesus come and stay in your heart for how many, how many hours? Fifteen minutes. One minute. Fifteen minutes. Jesus is in your heart for fifteen minutes. That is why when you receive <laughs> Holy Communion, you should be in the state of reverence for at least fifteen minutes. How many of you still remember that this fundamental Catholic teaching? After the reception of the Holy Communion, it is not where you should start saying, how are you, sister? No, Jesus is in your heart, life, for 15 minutes. Check your clock. You receive 10 o'clock. You be in the mode of prayer. You contemplate Jesus. You glorify his name. You adore him. Not by saying so many prayers. The simple ejaculate, ejaculation prayer. Jesus, in this in my heart, I adore you. Jesus, in my heart, I love you. Jesus, you can repeat it continuously. Jesus, in my soul, 
I adore you. Jesus, in my heart, I adore you. Adoration to you, oh Jesus, in my soul. Adoration to you, oh Jesus, in my heart. Adore Jesus constantly. Some people can take it upon themselves. Every hour, they make an adoration ejaculation. Once it is 12 o'clock, they, they exclaim, Adoration to you, O Lamp of God. The next hour, 12 o'clock. Adoration to you, Spotless Lamp of God. This can be adoring Jesus 24 hours of the day. Some people can do the 24 Hail Marys in honor of the 24 hours. One o'clock, they recite one Hail Mary. Two o'clock, one Hail Mary. All these are various forms of having mercy on Jesus. Because when you do all this practice, believe you me, it will stop you, it will hinder you, it will help you not to commit sin. And it will definitely point you toward the road of where? Salvation, eternal life. The greatest form of adoring Jesus is to contemplate, to think, to meditate on his what? Suffering, on his passion. You have to know that. If you want to be close to Jesus, meditate on his what? Suffering. Meditate on his what? Passion. <laughs> Nothing else will please Jesus more than what? Adoration and what? Meditation. Oh Please mute yourself if you're tired. This is on record, you know. And it goes on YouTube. Huh? Jesus said, There are 80, 58 wounds on my sacred head caused by the spike of thorns and 9,798 drops of blood from my sacred head. Console me and adore my precious blood. Oh, my loving children. Nothing can please me more than adoring my precious blood. Nothing also can make me happier than adoring my precious blood. Remember, that I called you so as to console me in my agony. The reason for your call, the reason you were born is to console Jesus. Can you believe that? And some of us live our life without even thinking of that until we die. And even some of them, some of us live our life till we die without even consoling at all. Jesus said, remember that I called you so as to what? Console me. So as to console me. If Console me if you love me. I am here waiting for you to adore and console me. The only thing I receive from you is weakness and mindlessness. Do you hear that? Why Jesus is waiting for us to console him? The only thing he received from us is weakness, coldness. I don't care. Why do I have to do this? Some somebody we somebody we even go as, as far as saying Jesus cannot be this harsh or this mean to ask us to pray within this time. How would you know that? Have you descended properly in order for you to say such a word? Or do you use the scholars of this world to qualify the knowledge of God in heaven? Some people will say, oh, you know, you don't have to do the guest money. You know, Jesus cannot really tell us to do all this, you know. And they come up with all sorts of, I don't know if to say, I don't know the word to use, but they come up with all sorts of human error. Let me use that word, human error. How many things do we know now that we do not know before? How many things are we going to know in the future that now it looks like we know it all? Meanwhile, when the revelation is given, we come to realize that we never know anything. 
People of God, Jesus is here waiting for us to console him, waiting for us to adore him. He is where in Gethsemane. How many of you is going to come to Gethsemane to console Jesus? How many of you is going to come to Gethsemane to adore Jesus? How many of you will replace your weakness, your mindlessness, your coldness, and your neglect with virtues of the willingness to pray, the dedication in prayer, the consistency in prayer, the constancy in prayer, and the commitment in prayer. How many of us will be willing to replace all these weaknesses, all these vices for virtue? May Mama Maria, who obtained for us this holy devotion, obtain for us the grace to also be able to answer this call through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. This is the message of 6 January 1997. Jesus continued, This I did for the salvation of man. As we were praying, I met our Lord in spirit. Barabbas giving us the message and his encounter. As we were praying, I met our Lord in spirit in a wide desert. He led me to a high mountain. When we reached there, divine light flashed on me. Immediately, he vanished. He immediately vanished from my sight. In the dazzling light, I heard a voice saying, Barnabas, I will show you how I love the world. Look at the road I walked through for the salvation of mankind. Your evil ways, all your evil ways, and come back. All your evil ways and come back to your Lord. Come back to me, my son. If humanity will not repent and change their lives, the chastisement will come. Then I saw again the underground world. They were preparing to come out. Our Lord said, I will allow this kingdom to rule the world if they do not come back to me. Look, again, I saw a great number of people being slaughtered by the agent of the evil one. Jesus said, pray and call upon my precious blood during the hour of persecution. My son, I appeal to you to live a complete holy life. Live a life, a prayerful life always. I am willing to receive your prayers always. Abstain from meat every Friday and watch at least one hour in the midnight of Thursday into Friday. Pray for the conversion of the whole world. Pray for lost sheep. Pray for the non-Catholics. Pray for them. Did you hear that? Pray for non-Catholics. Pray for them. How many of us have made our Catholic faith so private? We are so ashamed to make the sign of the cross in public because people are going to mock and laugh at us and look at us very funny and look at us with disgust. So therefore, we give them this one, isn't it? We just touch the head with one hand. We make sure nobody's looking. Don't do that. If you do it in the past, go to confession. Father, I did not do my sign of the cross very well. And from today onwards, make your sign of the cross clearly and distinctly. That is what Jesus is saying. Try your best to avoid meat every Friday. Eat fish. This will also help you to be more healthy. This is the words of Jesus in the message that he has given to us. Come to Gethsemane. If you're weak and very tired, you can do one hour from 11 to 12.30. But remember, the measure you give is the measure, the measure you receive. receive. So if you do the Gethsemane like Jesus has recommended, you will be a soldier, complete. However, Jesus understands that we are weak and we beg Mama Maria to obtain us obtain for us the grace to be willing 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Jesus said, through my precious blood, I promise to bring back to the new love and unity in my holy church. The church as at today is waiting for this devotion. This is the devotion that will renew the church, as you already know. Look at the words of Jesus. Through my precious blood, I promise to bring back to the new love and unity in my holy church. Immediately I found myself witnessing the Last Supper activity. Brother saw the Last Supper activities. He then showed me all his suffering till death. That means brother experienced the 15 hidden suffering and all the sufferings until the death of Christ. Really? But yes. Oh my goodness. Yes, yeah, it's there on the message. He then showed me all his sufferings until death. Oh. In one of the explanation, brother said, our Lord, that is, he, our Lord took him through his life. Yes, for you to be a mystic, you have to follow. Because our Lord, we want to capture your love, he will show you everything. Look at it in the message. It's here. Brother, send me message. Send me message. Message through this book. There's a lot of message here. Buy it. You would consume yourself with messages. Look at what Brother Barnabas explained. I will not fail to describe one torture that pained me the most. The Jewish soldier tied Jesus after beating him and rolled him on the ground from one place to another. What does that remind you? Is yeah, that one of the of, hidden suffering? One, one, one of the hidden suffering that we've been praying one of the, at. One of the ones in the basement. Thank you. You hear that? One of hey. the hidden sufferings. Hmm. Did you Lord hear that? Okay. Yes. Look at what Barnabas said. I will not fail to describe one torture that pained me the most. After they beat him, they roll him on the ground from one place to another. He wow. was crying then. Jesus yes. was crying. Is yes. that not the 15 hidden suffering that yes. we yes. all to adore? Oh, hey. my God. Oh. Hey. Are you not in the true devotion? It's too much. Hey. Is this not hey. real? That's too much. Oh. It's Our too much. Mind. Hey. This is why Jesus mandated that from November, December 1st, we should start to adore the hidden sufferings. Now you know the secret. It's not by mistake. This is why I appeal to you, all who hear my voice, whether you watch the video later or you are here present, search for the 15 hidden sufferings. Adore Jesus. Come, join the precious blood devotion. The correct way, not those who are doing it for business venture. People who are propagating it, but on the wrong way, wrong explanation, they are doing it in total disobedience, trying to produce the book to enrich themselves instead of doing things properly. They are just making themselves Judas of this last age. They are making themselves what? Judas of this last age. Come, let us adore Jesus. We have everything to gain. We have nothing to lose. Even if we die for Christ, in dying for Christ, is it not gain? It's gain. It's gain. Uh -huh. It's gain. Uh -huh. Leave all this Protestant theology and teachings. I said that yesterday. Never you listen to any form of pastor teaching. You must listen to only the teaching from a Catholic reverend father. Take my words to the bank. They will pay you money for it. Do not consume yourself with heresy. Do not consume yourself with fake doctrine. In my stand, never listen to a non-Catholic song. I'm telling you, when you hear the teaching of St. Cecilia, the patroness of quiet, you will cry for all the times you have listened to non-Catholic song. Do you know that Catholic songs are consecrated? 
Do you know that Catholic songs, some of them are direct from heaven? You don't know. Good. But now you know. Do you know that every Catholic song you listen to will break your heart and make you have the heart of flesh? God of mercy and compassion, look with pity upon me. That is the magnificent. That is magnificent. The same prayer of Azaria in the furnace, is it not? God of mercy and compassion, look with pity upon me. All my sins, I deserve them. All my punishment, I deserve them. You are right in condemning me. You are right in punishing me. You are right to send me sickness. You are right to do anything you want to do to me. Yours I am. Yours I want to be. Do with me whatever you will. So why would you go to a place where all the preach is thunder by fire, back to sender, return it back to them? That is not the teaching from the Roman Catholic Church. You have no business there. You have no business there. I've said this before, and I'm saying it over and over again. Return to adoration. Return to adoration. Return to adoration. Mm. Learn to adore Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Let me tell you the mistake the world is making today. Some of them are even in our church. Very sadly, when they expose the Blessed Sacrament, instead of the whole world to keep silent and adore, they begin to dance like demons. Even where the angels of God fear to climb, you see them climbing up and dancing and making all kind of show like they're in a disco party before God. Novena to the souls in purgatory, the young seminarian who, while cleaning the tabernacle, did not genuflect, stayed in purgatory. His sentence was to be in purgatory to the end of time. How much more those who are dancing? Mm. How much more those who are dancing? How much more those who are dancing? Like Jesus said in the poem of Man God, woe to leaders who will expose him for people to mock him, for people to dance without reverence in his presence. These are not my words. Read the poem of Man God and you will see it there. The world need to, when they expose our Lord, everybody need to be silent. Even if a pin fall, we should be able to hear the sound of the pin. But look, when our Lord is exposed, some people will even start to manifest. They begin to make something, they begin to jump, they begin to claim like demons. They begin to manifest. What is that? What happened to keeping silent? My Jesus, I love you. My Jesus, I adore you. My Jesus, I love you. My Jesus, I adore you. Why must we dance and do all this what not? Who taught us that? Your will is your will. But if I am you, I will avoid such gathering. I will avoid such occasion. I will rather go to the chapel where no one will see me. I will lie down flat. I will adore Jesus. Jesus, Barnabas continued. After some time, after some time, dear, appeared to me the sacred head with tongues. Jesus said, this I did for salvation of men, who will survive the hour of tribulation approaching. Look at the enemy, the wicked forces they are preparing for you. Then I saw a great kingdom of evil spirit. They gathered in a meeting under the control of the big red dragon with seven head, ten horn, and fourteen hands. The European You have to know that. Now, be it known to you that Jesus said they gather in a what? In a meeting. They hold their meeting every Thursday at night. 
That is why Jesus asks us, when you come to Gethsemane, begin on Thursday so that when they start their meeting in their own place, we start what? Adoration. Write it down. You need to know this truth. That is why for every law that shakes the world, it comes out on a Monday. Because they hold the meeting on a Friday, on a Thursday into Friday, and dish it out. We begin to hear rumor from Friday. And then on Monday, it becomes official. Mm. Jesus mm. continued. He had many act they were they had many act devils and guard for him. The sight was so fearful that I called out our Lord to destroy them. Then this particular vision came to an end. There came another vision. This was that of the days of the Antichrist, the way the agent of the Antichrist slaughtered the children of God who had not the mark of the beast was terrible. There were horrors everywhere. The victim, the children of God were crying, praying hopefully to God for deliverance. As I was looking, I broke into tears. Did you hear that? The days to come has been shown to Brother Barnabas. And as he was watching, what happened? He broke down into tears. Tearful is the hour. The hour is terrible. Look at the lockdown that we just experienced. How so many people died. So many people did not believe that they're going to lock down the whole world. This is just the peak of the iceberg. The main dish that these people are planning is coming out. We must fortify ourselves with the rosary. We must fortify ourselves with what? With prayer. Attend daily mass. Make frequent spiritual what? Communion. Practice yes, the devotion to the precious blood. Above all, wear for yourself the brown scapula of Our Lady of Mount Camel. Do all this because this is what heaven has what? Demand. Protect yourself. It is necessarily that we have to carry out these things. Barnabas continued. I broke down into tears. Our Lord appeared and said, My child, listen, I had warned my people that the hour to save is very short and that the days are numbered. You have seen what will happen to my children who trust in me who trust in me, my faithful children. That is why I came to give you the holy chaplet of my precious blood and promise to save, and promise to save through my precious blood. I promise to save all sinners who call upon my precious blood. I will allow a drop of, of my precious blood to fall on their heart so that they will be converted before the day of forsaking comes. The hour of dryness, the hour of God's holy anger. Jesus said, I promise to allow the precious blood to fall on their heart before the hour of forsaking comes. Another word for forsaking is what? Abandonment. You remember when Jesus cried in the in when he was on the cross, Father, Father, why have thou what forsaken me? Another word for that is Father, Father, why have thou abandoned me? That is why Jesus cried that cry, and every living being on earth will experience abandonment. It is also seen according to the writings of Saint John of the Cross the dark night of the soul. So at that time, Jesus also experienced his own dark night. So therefore, we experience dark night. Everybody alive experienced their own dark night. What you can call meltdown. 
You can want to use the word meltdown when everything seems gloomy, nothing seems to make sense. You must hold on to the, to the mantle of Our Lady. You must hold on to the cloak of who? Yourself. Of the sleeping Saint Joseph. Whatever you do, hold on to Papa. Hold on to the cloak of Saint Joseph. Hold on to the cloak of Mother Mary. And you will what? Conquer. Conquer. You will conquer. You will conquer. Yeah. You will conquer. The hour of forsaking is already here. This message was in 1997. We are in 2024. Oh. So what do you think Jesus will say now? We are already living in that hour of tribulation. Some of the mystics, our Lord will say, that we are already in the first stage. Can you believe yeah. it? In some of the messages of other mystics, our Lord will tell them, we are already in the first year. We're already in the first stage. We're already having the first experience. Mm -hmm. Who knows why there is so much confusion everywhere? Hmm. The time <laughs> to save is very short, as at 1997. What will our Lord say now about the time to save? In some of the messages for other mystics, our Lord said something like, people who will start now to build a refuge, will not finish it until he comes. If that makes sense. Just like Jesus told St. John, the, um, John the Baptist, when John, when John the Baptist asked our Lord, will I still spend more time in prison? When am I going to behold your holy face? And Jesus said, the time between our beds, the time you will behold my face, is shorter between our beds. That means, how old is John the Baptist, you know, our Lord? Six months. Six, six months. Six months. Month. That mm -hmm. means Jesus said to John the Baptist, when you will die, and when I will die, and when you will see me, is shorter than six months. Mm. And John the Baptist cried the tears of joy and begged God, pray for me to remain faithful to the end. Was it not a few days later his head was demanded? A few days later his head was demanded and he was killed. And within a short space of six months, our Lord went viral because that was when he went into his, his um, he was finishing in 33 <laughs> years, um, 32 years, going into 33, where he was to die at the age of 33. Same thing Jesus is saying now. That the time is up already. What we are living now is what? Borrowed time. For those who watch football, they call it extra time. The time for the main match is already finished. What we are living now is what? Extra time. <laughs> and yet, people don't come for mass. And yet, people don't go to confession. And yet, people don't say their rosary. And yet, people are going from ministry to ministry, looking for signs and wonders, looking for power, looking for what, 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 what they did not keep. On New Year Day, everybody is supposed to be at Mass to adore Jesus and thank God for the New Year. Some people spend their New Year in the club, dancing in the music of the devil, the den of the devil. Some people spend their New Year in different ministries without Mass. Some Catholics even miss Sunday Mass to go and attend ministry where there is no sacrament. I don't know how you guys think. I don't know how you guys do it. But if there is no sacrament, if there is no sacrifice of the Mass, my dear, there will be no salvation. You should know that. You should know that. Because... Without the sacrifice of the Holy Mass, where would you eat the body and blood of Christ? Nowhere. Nowhere. And Jesus said, if you don't eat my body and, and my blood, you have no life in me. In you. And the only time we have to partake is probably on Sunday. 
And that Sunday, Catholics are leaving the Catholic Church to go and attend ministries where there is no mass, where there is no body and blood of Christ. And the body and blood of Christ cannot be celebrated by a married man. It must be celebrated by a celibate priest. Because the plan of God is the priest is there to procreate, spiritually to procreate more children for God. Because the church is the bride, isn't it? Yes. This one is a bit hard. This one is seminary standard. <laughs> I bring it down for you, no problem. <laughs> Let me bring it down. Let me leave seminary standard. Now, you have to know that there is a reason why we have priests, men to be priests only, not women. Women are not called to be priests. Enoch. Women are not called to be what? To be priests. If women are called to be priests, that means the Catholic Church is a lesbian church. Because if the church is the body of Christ, the bride, and women are priests, what happened? Two brides together, isn't it? Yes. That's the, that, you have to know this. You don't read. <laughs> okay, let me come back. The, that is why only men are called to be priests, to serve the bride, and together they procreate children of God. They bring more children of God. I continue. Jesus said, the days are numbered. You have seen what will happen to my children. Call, produce this chaplet and make it known to the world. The devotion to the precious blood is here to stay. You have been invited. My appeal to you is go and invite others. Go and tell others. Do not be afraid of the truth. Do not be afraid of political correctness, where you have to, you have to sound appealing to the world. No. If I am you, I will take for myself John the Baptist as my patron saint. Say it as it is. Don't sugarcoat it. After all, you are not called to be sugar of the earth. Abby, what are you called to be? Oh. From the earth. So it's yes. not your job so. to sugarcoat it. It's not your job to make it sweet. Often at times we hear people say, oh, because people don't come to mass, let us make the mass interesting. They begin yeah. to bring music. They begin to bring all sorts of instruments. No, that is wrong. Absolutely wrong. They should rather increase adoration. Increase adoration. Increase cactism. Increase homely that we convert people. Tell people that sin is sin. Teach on the four last things. How many of you remember the teachings on the four last things? Heaven, hell. Go on. You, you people don't know. Death, it. judgment, heaven, or hell. Good. Death, judgment, heaven, judgment. and hell. Heaven or hell. The four mm -hmm. last things. Yes. Oh, no, don't talk about it. It's so scary. No, don't mention hair. You begin to sugarcoat hair. Eh? How did you guys come up with sugarcoating hair? Since when did hair become sweet that we don't talk about it? Since when did hair become so good that we don't preach about it? Stand on the mountain top and echo the voice of God, calling the people to what? To repent. Or else, time will come. According to the book of Revelation, the angel of God will mark Israel, the people of God, and the remaining, he will gather the remaining and put them where they will be weeping and grinding. Of it. They don't weep and grind in heaven, they weep and grind in heaven. So people of God, when we answer the call of Gethsemane, we will be able to save ourselves and we will be able to survive. We will be able to make reparation for others so that others can be saved, so that others can survive, so that others can convert. And the beauty of the devotion to the precious blood is that it's for everybody. Everybody is invited. The whole church is invited. And we should do it the right way. On the time Jesus has instructed, this is the echoing of my voice. Let the whole world 
come into guesting money, 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. That is the hour of guesting money. Not on Wednesday, not on Tuesday, not any other day, not any other time. 11 p.m. on Thursday night to 3 a.m. Friday morning. That is the hour of guesting money. This message we just read is the message of 16th January, 1997. It is our prayer that may Mama Maria and St. Joseph grant us the grace to answer the call of guesting money. Grant us the grace to have mercy on Jesus by repenting, by going for sacrifice of the Holy Mass, by going for regular confession, and by living out the Catholic life. We make all this prayer through the intercession of St. Michael and all the martyrs, those who have shed their blood, those who have bear witness for Christ, for the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church. We make all this prayer in union with the sacrifice of the Holy Mass, for the greater consolation of God the Father, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. 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 Amen.